Hey, before we move on, I really quickly reloaded back to the flashback sequence when things were all happy and stuff, because it seems like I missed one room, and I mean, I had a save right here anyway. I want to see it. What room is this officially? Storage. Ariane's notes. Running out of ochre paint, Alistair laughed when I told her. Now I have to mix it myself. So annoying. I still haven't read a whole bunch of those manuals. I feel like they gave me enough to read for the rest of my life. Most of them are boring technical manuals anyway. They could have given us more films to watch instead. Half of them are war films, which Elster doesn't like, and the other half are kitschy propaganda dramas. Wait, so she didn't read it because she was tired of reading? I actually was getting the impression that she didn't read it because she didn't want to kind of like invade my privacy because I'm I'm a robot, I'm a replica and a lot of my details are just listed very matter-of-factly on a document but to really get to know somebody, to learn about somebody you really have to spend time with them, right? But seems like maybe not. Maybe it's just a stroke of luck that she didn't read it. <laughs> okay. The painting Ariane has been working on recently, a serene coastline. Oh. And we don't get to see a zoomed in version? That might be the coast that we keep seeing. Good lord. And this note even mentions stuff that Elster doesn't like and Elster laughing and all that. It makes me even more curious how their relationship started because we know from the manual and stuff that Elsters are very stoic and whatever, but apparently Ariane cracked her. Somehow. Elster doesn't like war films, probably something something resurfacing gestalt memories. But actually, that really hasn't been my problem so far though. Because we've come across other people and they're all like, Oh, I'm starting to remember my gestalt name. But as Elster, we just sort of take everything as it comes and we don't really question too much. Maybe we're a little bit too stoic? Hmm. It looks like that might be it. Penrose 512. Well, that was kind of an interesting note. While we're here, I thought we could take a look at the ending sequence again, the one before the fake ending, because a lot of images flash by really, really quickly, and even with an editing, I thought I saw a lot of really interesting stuff, so... Yeah. Well, to begin with. Adler... I feel like so much was happening here, but he's saying, I've been here so many times, but I've never returned. We could take it to mean physically, like, I've been to this place so many times, but I... Because we know that he's one of the people who has some sort of, um cycle slash time loop thing happening, I feel like that's what he means. Like he keeps coming here in his loops, but this is his last point because at this point he just dies. Well, he's not dead here, but he's never gone back. And something about the commander. Well, the commander we know was inside the... Um, she was sleeping on the bed, but before that, I guess she was doing something else and she fell ill. And he's very sad about it. What waits beyond the threshold? The gate. I think they mentioned the gate somewhere here too. Right, and then the... Honestly, this whole... This entire sequence is very end of Evangelion-ish, isn't it? The redness. The surrealism and just not knowing what the hell is going on. More Elsters, of course. Wait, those pillars though. I'm not even sure what those pillars are. It seems like there's some kind of a marking here. Triangle? Is that a Penrose thing? Yep, and then the Penrose 512 yet again. Some German stuff. I think, yeah, people in the comments have been translating it, so I'll leave that alone. I wonder what this is. It's like a mirrored image if you, like, if you look at it diagonally, it's a mirrored image. That is Korean. I'm guessing it says Sa, Alina Sa, because it's a Korean last name. Yeah, this part's kind of interesting too, because there's multiple figures here. The later ones of which are, those ones are white-haired, right? Well, why is my cursor like that? I don't know. The white-haired people, and then one person turns their head, Alina. Clearly because of the military uniform, but they're lined up like that for a reason, aren't they? Probably. Elster, the whole magpie 
kanji again, and then look. See, this one's different because multiple. All of these are Elsters, the iconic one, what we've been playing as the whole time, and then these other ones, helmets, just other iterations? But what is an iteration, though? Because if it's a true loop, like we said before, then we shouldn't be seeing remnants of the previous loops. Ariane Young. This is Young in the back. It's her last name. Ariane might be like Malaysian or something. Well, speaking in real world terms, because Y-E-O-N-G, even among Chinese last names, you can sort of tell where someone's ancestry is depending on how the, um, their name is written in English. So Y-E-O-N-G is not quite um super most standard romanization for that last name. But look. Okay. So all three of them are different then. For Ariane, all of them turn at the same time, but Ariane, uh, Alina is part of that. Who are these people? This one seems like it might be the one that we saw in the happy flashback, the military uniform. Shortish hair. Yeah, that's an interesting thing too. Short hair here, but then in a lot of the creepier moments, we did see a white-haired girl that had uh, very, very long hair. And this time, all of them turn at the same time. The really quickly flashing by photos of the Isle of the Dead, and then there's some other ones here. Are there that many different photos? Like, are these different people drawing the same thing, or what's going on here? Different renditions of the same location? Is it a real world location, I wonder? And then. Somehow, at this point, Elster starts having a physical malfunction of some kind. Oh, okay, this is the interesting part here. So this is one of the quickly going by images. Let's start at the beginning again, here. Eclipse getting all messed up, okay. Uh, the, the redness, I assume, has something to do with the whole idea of the red, the red eye. Poisoning you, infecting you. Which is what Falk apparently knows about. What even is this? This is in the beginning of the... it's in the title screen, but I have no idea what that is. Okay, so the beginning of the flashing images. A girl standing at... I want to say train tracks, but it's all water-covered. Oh! Maybe it's Veneta. Because we know that there is... Um, if you remember the star map, one of the worlds was water-covered, and it's Veneta. And I think someone mentioned in the comments that the locations on the map seem to roughly correspond to our own solar system. So in this case, it would be Earth. But like a water-filled Earth. Another view. Yeah, 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 we definitely saw this before. High rises and then lines. There was that one poster. So who is this then? Is that Ariane? Not white hair. Hmm. Actually kind of reminds me of Isa. Who we know is Venetan. Different views of Veneta. Yeah, it's all submerged. Okay, the in in game rendition of the painting with um a red thing in the middle. This one's interesting. Some kind of a nuclear explosion. Is it still Veneta? Maybe. But the the background is red, so I'm not sure, but you do see what seems like water submerging some street lamps and stuff, and then someone watching it. Maybe we've read about it before? I'm not sure. Veneta... War Ravaged? Nuclear Explosions? What is this? What is this? Another person with a hurt eye? Okay. Person sitting down in the trenches. <gasps> oh shoot, you know what? Hold up. There's another really... Uh, person. It's still Veneta, right? And then these, these monuments again. Right, so I saw this one in editing. I actually didn't look that closely, but this one I did see. And uh, clearly, I think, well, Alina, right? This is... Is this Elster's neural pattern person? Yeah, so in that case, then the previous her person that we just saw would also be Elster's person then, who for some reason, is missing an eye. Just like Adler, creepily enough, the same eye too. The red eye? 
Why are they taking a photo like this? She looks kind of chill. She has a scar here. And then I... I? Oh, I don't know if it's I, but I don't look that happy, probably because I'm missing an eyeball. But at this point, the uniforms, the nation's already a thing, right? The three stars. And then she's more decorated than me. But what was our relation at this point then? This just means that Alina knew the Elster neural pattern person. I'm mainly assuming it's uh, like this is the gestalt, right? Because there's no there's no line across the face and her hair. Her hair is a more natural brown color. And we, we read from the notes, Alina's diary, that she was searching for an Elster unit in the mines, which it wouldn't be this person, right? Because this person's not an Elster. This person's actually the person. What was that? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. That red dot in the middle. Is someone... Someone rowing a boat? Memory? Very Evangelion-ish. Okay, that might be it for the flashing sequences, and then this is just... Elster... Somehow her arm breaking off as she gets here. Wake up. Wake up. Oath. And then she dies. And the boat... Oh! Are we getting a wait? Hold on. Hold up. As we fall down. I'm trying to see if... Are we going away from the island or are we going towards the island here? Because it kind of seemed like we were going away. Which... We're seeing that sequence right after Elster sort of dies. So maybe... Is our goal to get to that red point on the island? The Isle of the Dead? That doesn't sound very good. Yeah. Wow, actually, that was, a uh, hmm. A lot of images of Veneta, surprisingly. And look, we got a close-up of the pillar, the triangle. Oh, the Sierpinski logo, right? Not like I know what it means, but... <laughs> yeah. Um... I think one thing I wonder about is, uh, very pervasively throughout this whole thing, I feel like we've been given this subliminal messaging. Remember our promise. Wake up. Remember our promise. But... Because we had that one note in the flashback about how replicas have a much higher, like a much, much, much higher chance of surviving than gestalts in the event of any crash. I wonder, is the remember our promise thing something that an alive Ariane is telling us? Or is it something that Elster has concocted in her head? Because she's so traumatized by the event and she doesn't want to believe that Ariane's dead. Well, okay, it doesn't actually matter at this point whether Ariane's dead or not. I'm just wondering, is that promise Ariane telepathically telling it to us? Or is it just Elster going off of her own willpower? She keeps doing this, she's failing, but then every time she's at the brink of dying, she remembers, oh, no, I made this promise with Ariane that I have to... I have to go find her, I guess? What is our promise? We don't know at this point. Okay, let's go back in. Capital 3. What? Are you serious? Why am I here again? but it's not the same. Flies? Is that like decomposition or... Okay, this is the... Mm, if we go by the thinking that none of this is really real... Which, I mean... Judging by how we've been transporting through various places, that does seem like it's likely. Varying degrees of it anyway. Yeah, this time we're going through the same facility, but much fleshier. I don't know what it all means. Okay, if you're gonna give me guns, it's probably license for me to take it out.
What's happening? What's happening? We read this clearly before, the wall safe code document. Nothing was blocked out. Service request form. Everything's blocked out, but the kind of blocking out is different. Look at the department. The department is the censorship, and then the rest of it is some kind of like, forgetful memories or something. Oh, I need a flashlight. No wonder I had so much space in my inventory. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, by the way, I uh, I realized that if you if you do continue without saving. Yeah. Isn't that pleasant? <sighs> okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. And yet, the whole time, the cameras still work. I am like... I want to think about what's happening right now, but I'm just like, oh, okay, and I'm just rolling with it because I have no idea what to think, really. Hello. Oh. Together. Together to victory. Over the Empire. Is the nation positioning themselves as the revolutionaries here defeating the Empire? Because I remember before somebody was arrested for having counter-revolutionary posters. Counter-revolutionary, not revolutionary posters. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, the place at large here. Again? Is it going to be the same code as before, do you think? Do warts hear Zuvor? Um... What was the code? Should we... Should be pretty early on, right? Well, it's not this one, but the, the original... Two o four, five one two. You think it's the same one? Two o four, five one two. God, the way it took so long to open just now. Classroom key. This is kind of repeating what happened before, but not... I imagine not exactly. That person doesn't move, thankfully. You're giving me grenade shells. Maybe that means I need to... I haven't used grenade shells yet. At all. Flare gun ha hasn't been something I've gotten a good handle on. Yeah, I have six grenade shells. Okay, classroom key means it means we don't know <laughs> i don't uh we'll look around i think he might maybe now is a good time to use that grenade shell huh like there's quite a lot of them actually with that many Pistol ammo might not even do too much. I know I, I'm so wishy-washy here, but I... And it's right outside the safe room. Depending on how long we stay here, we might want to... Get rid of those guys permanently. Will it hurt myself? 
the grenade shells. Oh, how do I switch the... It's for the flare gun, but how do I switch the... No space to combine. Oh, because I have other stuff that I'm holding on to, so there's no room for the regular flare ammo to go back in my inventory. I think. Oh, it's only one at a time. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. I'll give it a go. I equipped it, right? Yep. Oh my god. Did that hurt myself? No. Alright. It still took two shells. Not the kind of performance I was expecting out of... A grenade round? I wonder if the flies... ...basically kind of mean that we're... ...closer to seeing the truth of what's happening. Because we're actually seeing decomposition and everything around here. Which we never really saw before. It's getting fleshier and fleshier. This is a waste of ammo, too. It's a straight line, though. Holy God! Reload! Reload! Do I not have ammo? I have ammo. Oh, I hit- I did it when it was an X, so I don't think there were- Shoot. Forget this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I shot it when it was, uh, there was an X there. Okay, well, we made it through. But I have no ammo, and there's one more guy. Let's go back. We cleared everybody, at least. Except for one person. I'm not sure if we should use the thermite here. Maybe for the people right at the very outside. Okay, yeah, this guy might come back quickly. Okay. Well, I tried. Mmm. At least we're using our stuff. Shotgun would be good here, too. Don't have very much am- Rifle! Rifle. I still haven't tried it yet. Hey, I'm sorry, I just took everything out. I have one more thermite. Okay, I'll just use one thermite. Mmm. I don't know we'll, if we'll actually come back here. Because I don't get the sense they'll make me stay so long in the same place. But that's fine. Better to be safe than sorry. Let's hurry up and go. Flashlight. There is one person here still. Next room. I could push them away. What? <laughs> See, that's what I mean, because I... <sighs> There's a hole in the ground. It looks like I can drop down safely. We might not ever come back, so that thermite might have been a waste. 
That's what I was worried about. You've changed. It's like everything was taken apart. Is that... Falk? Adler and Falk? And put back together. By someone who doesn't understand how it works. I have become whole again. I wear no mask. And I hate... Everything. Oh! Perhaps this is hell. And now... Rot front. I'm at rot front? Oh, yeah, we're really not going back. All I had to do was push ahead one more room. <sighs> That's okay. The planets, rot front, sector C. Oh! It's a puzzle. Buyan, Veneta, Kitesh, rot front, Heimat, Leng. What the hell? Ew, ugh. I'm glitching. I glitch when I look at that. Ah, bite uh, something. Apartments. Apartments. Moon murals. Atrium. Have a quick look. Apartments, rot front apartments. Oh shoot. I didn't mean to go in. Uh don't loiter. Pure Chinese. Ito. Ito household. Isa and Erika's house? Hey, what was that just now? We saw a shot of either I Isa or Erika losing an eye again. And then Adler, too. Oh, I'm not getting t time to really digest what's going on. Adler, he said he's without a mask and he looks zombified. He did not look normal. Can I please have a safe room? Do you think that's possible? The way is blocked by a gas leak. I need a hand wheel to turn off the gas flow. Okay. I got you. I got you. Do they normally have red eyes? Is that a... safe? No? Floppy disks. Floppy disk slots. Post box. Protector edition. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eon Commando requisition. To Calibri R1604. Your requisition request for a Type 84 submachine gun was successfully processed. Responsible body. Aeon Commando Rot Front Nord. Protector. Calibri. Blah, blah, blah. Authorization. Block wart. Rot C. So a Calibri asked for a submachine gun? Okay. Young photo. Young? Photo store keys. The locksmith said it would take at least a period until the replacement key is done. My niece currently has the only other key, but she's still at the hospital right now. Young. 
Hey, we're on rot front. Yeah, Ariane, Ariane knew Isa and Erica at rot front. Is the niece Ariane maybe then? So this might be some uncle. Photo store? Calibri to KNCR. KNCR? Be careful. To the block board of Sector C, there are rumors that there is an Imperial spy active in your area. A Protector Special Operations Unit has been dispatched from Aeon Headquarters on Heimat to investigate and should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. Yeah, the Imperial Empire is the enemy to the nation. There was, um, back in the star map, they mentioned something about liberating it from... liberating something from... the Empire. Aeon Commando to Calibri. Seasonal Review. Calibri, as every season, your performance will be subject to a review by local command soon. Remember that this review will determine if you will be marked for replacement. What did they do at Rothfront? Ito! Booch! Oh, this is some German thing. I don't know what this is. Bookstore! Bookstore keys. Calibri to Ito. I understand you need entry to the bookstore for your patrol, but we do not have a spare key for the front door. However, you can use the back entrance to get into the store. It's secured with a keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughters. Note, they were born on Veneta. Check the last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Kind regards, Ito. Okay. Birthday, Isa and Ari's birthday, last six digits. Ito family runs a bookstore, Young family runs a photo store. On rot front? <laughs> From Eon Commando to Calibri. On relocation. No. I wonder what the chronological order is. Because it looks like the Calibri got a gun, and they were told, they were threatened, they might be replaced, and they were told, no, you cannot go somewhere else. Oh! Convenient. Select an item to use. Floppy disk. We don't have one. Right, so the stuff is inside my... Yes, okay. Two! There's two floppy disk slots. That's fancy. Oh! My goodness! Uh, right now though? I kind of value my slots. Okay, this was the case for the shotgun rounds as well, but the words on it don't say anything like ammo or rounds. Like, this is... Unending. Yes, which would align with the um, infinity symbol next to it. It says unending. Like, the, shot the shotgun rounds said something... I wasn't even sure what it said. Something about rainbows? I don't know. I'll leave it here for now. I do have a few bullets on my pistol ammo thingy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Very much. Hey, look, it's it's the carpet pattern again. Ain't that wonderful? Lord, the previous place doesn't have a name again. What's this place called? Raw Front? Apartments? It's the name in the map. Block Word. Bedroom. Oh, this is the office. Okay. Um, do I want to use a submachine gun right away? Put away one, maybe. Okay, I have more than enough repair patches. Submachine gun. An automatic submachine gun with a collapsible stock fires three round bursts of 8mm compact ammo from a 30 round magazine. Not even sure how to handle this. Type 86, 84, Drotch. Despite the smaller caliber, burst fire allows for improved damage, especially when quick target acquisition is required. Okay. Compact ammo. Handgun? No, uh, the submachine gun is a handgun, I guess. 
Okay. We'll see how it goes. I haven't even tried the rifle yet. I don't know when to... Because we don't know what's ahead, so when am I going to know what to bring out? Thur oh. Thermiting the guy outside might be good. Because this is a safe room. We could use the flare shot, really, but I have a- Oh, it's on me, I'm sorry. The thermite's right on me. Yeah, those guys look a little bit different than usual. Oh! Well, there's way more than I thought! Oh shoot, they're all getting back up. Okay, the, the shield guy. How do we get the shield guy? I wasn't expecting resistance to be so fierce. Good thing we're right outside. Bring out three thermites. Do I have three? I have two because you know what? I used one earlier. <laughs> so that's great. Okay, let's bring out the rifle. Yeah, we have way too much of this anyway. I, I guess it's okay. Still don't want to be chugging them, you know? Is it okay if I chug them in a row like that? I hope so. I got the rifle. I got two shots on the rifle. Um, it might be more important to thermite the shield guy, because they're harder. Because we don't have enough thermites right now. So I gotta pick. Okay, at least we got those two. If somebody gets back up, it'll be a less threatening one. What's that light? What was that light just now? I guess they want me to use a grenade. Calibris. Was it the Calibris in the... the vents? Shotgun rounds. Yeah, see that? It doesn't say shotgun rounds. What does it say? It's like some jade stuff. I'll look it up later. Wait, there was nothing here. That's a weird pillow they have. Is that it? Yeah, I'm never coming back into this room, so I gotta make sure this is it. With this, the state of this array... Something happened on rot front. Oh, I should be using these ones too, yeah, to get rid of the guys and... Uh, I'll leave it alone, we'll keep going. We went upstairs. We can just ignore them. Room 0512. Again. Again. Let me check what's downstairs first. Ammo. Spray. Leave it around. Oh, that's just the standard pattern for the beds. What the heck? It looks like there's a playing card embedded into the paint of the painting. 
The paint layer is too thick to remove the card without dissolving the paint first. Dissolve, we need water. Elster and Ariane, what's this damn painting again? Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure there were multiple... Like, we thermited two people, but there's three, right? But I don't see the corpse of the third one. Maybe it was hidden below the... one of the bottom sections. Shotgun. I wish I could stockpile a little bit more bullets though. Six isn't that great. I'm running out of pistol ammo too. Have some stun prods on me. Maybe I'll take away the flashlight for now. Bring one. It's really hard to drop the flashlight though, because it's so... I feel like it's so necessary, but on the other hand, I'll never... I'll literally never use the stun prods and the auto-injectors in that case. It's okay. We can have different purposes for trips. This could be the exploration trip, and then we can have one for gathering items, just to make sure that we are... Oh, I can't even bring any more. I don't have to try to do everything in one go. Make the place safe and then look around. That's a thing. How many? Okay, this is a flashlight room. I will leave it alone for now. Stun prods. Wait, how did I just use three? I just used three! Did I stun the same guy twice? I may have. Two repair patches. The wheel. Oh, but I don't want to come back here. Ever. Okay, well, we have to come back here. Sometime. That's fine. Oh. Monfest celebrations cancelled over safety concerns. Monfest? Moonfest? The seasonal Monfest celebration, a young but well-established tradition in most rock-run sectors, will not be allowed to take place until further notice, the Protector Public Office has announced today. There is a credible threat to public safety that is currently under Protector investigation. Citizens are only to leave home for work and report all suspicious activities to their block warden. When pressed about the rumors of an Imperial spy living in Sector C, the Protector Public Office only repeated their appeal to citizens to report all suspicious activities to a protector. Imperial spy. Could that be someone we know? That wouldn't be very good. Okay, we'll be back here. Damn, dude. Three prods. I'm mad. That's it. This is it? Dead end. Apartment. Uh, the dark apartment? I'll bring more stun prods before going there. We could do that. Yeah, we have to come back here. But now that we have the wheel, we can go put it down. Crazy how the darkness is scary, huh? 
It could be a completely normal room, just like the, the storage apartment or their dorms. It scared me so much because that room was so big and so dark. I'm gonna wear the rifle ammo for now. A steel hand wheel for controlling a pipe valve. The paint is chipping off this old heavy hand wheel. I mean, I don't know why I'm bringing the flashlights though, it's... Well, I have it already anyway. Like, if I'm not gonna use it, I should probably just put it back down. But I might use it! I might! Hand wheel? Thank you. Floppy disk. Blue diskette. There's multiple then. What the hell? Oh, photo room! This an oh, disinfection room. I thought it was like the place where you develop photos. Acetone. Acetone for the paint removal. How am I on the health? I can't tell. I guess I'm okay. I'm just wondering if I should use this and pick that one up. I mean, we have... Yeah, let's, let's go back for a second. Put in the blue disc. And all that, but we could look around. There's actually a door there. Uh. The meat grinder seems to be broken. It looks safe to drop through to the floor below. Not yet. Gonna go put away some stuff and grab the acetone. Blue diskette. A blue magneto optical data storage diskette for use in office computers. There's no label on the disc apart from the manufacturer's mark. New stuff. And 10. Uh, I don't like this. I'm not understanding. Some sort of a program. We open a program. Rot C Ost? Rot C West. We can move this laser thingy that changes. These are radio towers, I guess? Receiver dishes? Modes? Signal repeated to local. Set your radio frequency? I mean, I could. One, two, five. The frequency I should set changes depending on which button I have pressed here. I'm gonna move this, uh... Doesn't actually seem like the range is too far. This is the end. Or... No, never mind. I can keep moving it? The radio is getting quieter. This is the loudest. 210? Same thing, I guess? What are we calibrating? I don't know. Hopefully something that happens far away from me. This program is lagging. How old is this? <laughs> 
43. I think it's trying to tell me something about 43 here. Okay, well, thank you. I'll keep it in mind. 43, transmit. Uh, is this a text file? Oh, <laughs> read me! Oh, God. Did it say read me? Does it say read me in German? <laughs> Due to the power rationing, only a limited number of antennas in the grid are powered at a time. To determine which antennas are currently powered, use the Anten program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard on both dishes. In the transmit program, enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Right now? Right now? Oh. Polytone magpie bells. Uh. Uh. I'll send magpie then, and then maybe we have pre-solved the puzzle if we're lucky. Okay, so I'm gonna um, revolver, building up some ammo over the revolver again. Let me go grab the acetone. Acetone, a bottle of liquid dimethyl ketone, can be used to dissolve and clean up plastics, epoxies, and paints. A common cleaning product used to soften and dissolve various paints and plastics. Which we're gonna use on the painting. Even the picture kind of looks like Elster, doesn't it? At least this one. I guess that would be Ariane, but not white hair. Lovers. What's underneath? Blood. A tarot card depicting the six major Arcanum. Lovers. It's not... This isn't the case of a replica. Okay, this is a dead end, so I'm gonna pick this up, because we're not gonna come here, probably. This isn't a replica searching for a gestalt. This is... It's a woman searching for her lover. Looking to fulfill a promise with her lover. Put that here for now. I don't think we need this many. Yeah, there's one in the place too. Okay, let's uh... Multiple places we can go to. Let's drop down in the hole. We can do that. We have to remember to go back to the dark room eventually though. What room is this anyway? Oh, me meat grinder. Disinfection room. Disinfection from what? I'm gonna be okay. Teeth. Cooler. Metro station. I don't have the flashlight equipped. Wait, there's a... Is there a person here? You see that? I can't read that. Hmm... Okay. Oh, they're leaving so many for me. I'll leave one lying around. This is the canteen of some kind. Oh. Tower, another tarot card. Teeth. There's teeth here. Wasn't Ariane's teeth falling out? Million Starva's Imperial blockade continues. Due to the ongoing transit of Katesh, Ration shipments to Veneta have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. 
Millions of Yuzhen citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in Katesh orbit critically damage one of our humanitarian convoys on their way to Veneta, sending diplomatic efforts with the Empire into another stasis. The orbit of Katesh will continue to block free travel between Veneta, Rotfront, and Heimat for another eight seasons, which leaves our liberation forces on Veneta stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains of Veneta. People starving on Katesh. The nation are fighting against the Empire. I'm full. I'm already full, and there's shotgun shells. Um, I think... Okay, sure, this whole time we're trying to do something like fulfill a promise, wake up, we have a promise with Ariane. But what's going on with Ariane herself? Because she seems to be in a lot of pain. I don't know if it's current or active, but at one point she was in a lot of pain. Her teeth falling out, her hair falling out, she can't sleep, she wants to die. An illness? Okay, that's a lot of freaking people. Wait, there's something... We're getting a frequency. A signal on this frequency. It's freaky. I don't have that great of... items right now. Stun prods might be my best bet. The Calibri won't come towards me. The other people will, but the Calibri won't. Which means I gotta equip stun prods. Mm. Yeah, they gave us a lot of bullets, but I don't have any of those guns. Any, I'm out of bullets. Damn it, I couldn't see where it was. Okay, so that's fantastic because now I don't even have a single thing to kill the Calibri with. I don't have one bullet on me. This is very bad. I would appreciate if you would just shut up, please. We can't go back this way. I can take some bullets with me. But I'm kind of full already. Maybe time to bust out the submachine gun or something. It's locked. It requires a key. Oh lord. I don't even care about... Turn it off! It won't turn off. Okay, we've got some bullets. Would you very kindly please give me your digits again? What the hell? Hey, that kind of reminds me of when we were in the mines and there was a um, shadowy figure in that sarcophagus thing. Yang photography. Or uh, Yang. Yang photography. I said Yang because that's another way you can translate the, the name. Right, so... F photo store? Hey, what is that periodic light? The train going by? Oh, um... Could use the slot right now. Bookstore? Electro C. Electronics. 
Mm. Oh! Thanks. Okay, so maybe we should thermite- Well, we can't thermite this room because I don't have thermite. Patient key. Drop the tarot cards down. Submachine gun might be- Yeah, let's take on the submachine gun maybe then. Seems like they're giving me quite a bit for it, although I'm not sure how well that would actually... go. We should carry lots of bullets because this is the kind of thing where bullets are... necessary. Wait, patient key... Room 0512. Put it down for now. Room 0512. That was- where was that again? Well, it's not here. It's not here. That's the main thing. 0512. Was it upstairs? Oh, it was that room, right? I think so. Okay, so we'll go back later on then. Right, this is the way up. Revolver ammo, thank you. Okay, let's finish looking downstairs. Well, we have- we don't have the key for... the photography store. The train is still running? That's a bit scary. Is that it for the bullets? I don't think we'll... Need the spray. Oh, well, there's no harm in leaving the spray here. I don't know what's going on with those shadows. Reminds me a little bit of... Metro... the Metro series. It also had shadows and trains, especially. Okay. So this is... key. Had my flashlight on. Did I really want to go there? Submachine gun. I didn't even have it equipped. Oh, um... Eh, I got a lot of crap on me. It says something, but I can't see what it says. Lee clothing, masks, and uniform. National Post Packet Box. Post Office? A matrix code scanner. We have no such thing. Oh, multiple ways back up. I might be okay with that. Oh, this goes... back over here. Okay. Um, the other way? We haven't checked where it went. Like, where does the ladder go up to? It might be somewhere down there. I'll go back down in a sec then. For now... Got the room 0512. Also have the dark apartment I didn't explore yet. Do you think relying on the submachine gun itself is gonna be fine? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. How am I? I'll bring a blue one. No, prods are good. You know what? I'd rather just bring one and then bring like a... The moment I start using prods, now they're all going like crazy. But it's useful. Oh, but we'll never use the prod in a dark space because we have the flashlight equipped. Never mind. Okay, patient key? Patient key? Patient? Like, hospital? I thought we were done with the hospital part. The tag is splattered in blood. Oh, thanks. I actually didn't see that. I really wanted to know that. Great. Okay.
You know, strangely enough, I feel way more at home. I feel way more comfortable in this sort of sanitized environment. Sanitized meaning actual, like, bricks and walls. Not like the mines. The mines I did not enjoy. There's blood in here. Yeah, I don't enjoy that very much, like, that bloody stuff. Dream Diary Sixth Night I dreamt I was an Imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Katesh when a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth Night I was a worker in the mines of Lang when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh, my flesh joining the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh, which persists beyond death. Were you really dreaming, or were you somehow getting the collective memory of other people? Sixteenth Night As a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta, but I never reached the ocean below. I kept falling, when suddenly, lightning struck the building, and I woke up. Eighteenth Night I was floating in the sunless sea below the ice of Rotfront when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me, in the moon's dark core. Oh great, we're on Rotfront right now. Great. Rotfront is on the moon. It's a moon. It's not a planet. I think. Nineteenth night. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I was walking through the floating Imperial Palace when the gaze of the sun-like iris Burned my body to ashes. Red Eye. I have to look at the star map again. Is Buyan the planet that Rothfront revolves around? Oh, tarot cards. Tarot cards. A knife. So this is the symbol that we've been seeing. Hmm. Looks like it's a room we'll have to come back to. Alright. Ready for some action? I prefer if you just go away. Okay, I wanted to go to the room above for us because I know there was a repair spray, repair patch, but we could do this. How many? I think I probably shot more than I needed to. I used 30 bullets, basically. Oh my- no, no, no! Wait! They like clipped into the wall or something, I think. I don't know, let's get- let's do what we came to do and get out of here. What did we come here to do? I don't know. Developing tank. Like... Uh, for photos or something? Developing photos? Well, this is just someone's apartment. Very messed up. Oh my god, I can't... I can't go across. That's a lot of rooms. It eventually wraps back to that room, I think. Do I have enough bullets for this? Rep photo tank. A plastic container for developing photographs. Its label indicates that an undeveloped photo is inside. Opening it right now would destroy the photograph inside. I need to add some developer fluid first. What does it say? Don't know. Okay, we have to... We have to kill. It's 
down there, so I can barely even see where to kick it, but I'm glad we got it. Okay. The tape on the various apartments. Okay, so there's a there's a room in the middle here. Can we go inside? Uh, it doesn't look like there's a door. Oh my! That was pleasant. Oh, that's me! That's me! I know you did that on purpose to scare me. I know you. Oh, this is a school thing. It's a- that, um, the same heading as at high school? Teacher's Evaluation, Ariane Young. The girl, without a doubt, is remarkably odd. Certainly due to her being raised solely by her mother, rather than by a community of good people overseen by a block warden, as is normal these days. Oh yeah, cause that's so normal. Her obsession with paintings, music, and other such nonsense was clearly implanted during her time living in the mountains on that desolate radio outpost. And surely, her friendship with those Venetian-born Ito sisters also exposed her to some of the questionable literature that is illegally sold in their parents' bookstore. Bookstore, one of the biggest enemies of a fascist empire. She does not seem to understand that these distractions are no longer acceptable now that she must partake in the society of our nation like anyone else. Personally, I can only hope military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of her in a way that the school has failed to do so far. She was forced to go to military? Mmm. Well, if she... Yeah, she was in the military, I guess, because she was on the Penrose. School evaluation in... A patient room? Magpie. There's a picture of a magpie on the box above what looks like a small speaker or a microphone. 43. Wait, if it's 43. Oh no, 43 is the antenna. That's right. This doesn't go to 43. But there was a. At 120 or so, there was the usual number station sound. One twenty-five. Yeah, I don't think it wants to hear that. But I absolutely think this is related to the antenna, because the magpie symbol. So magpie is the right, the right file. For me, then. For Elster. Oh my lord. Dude, look at the way the shadow of the IV bag changes, like... That's so detailed. Even though this is like pixel art. Okay, we have people, we have people, vent people outside. <laughs> what do I do? We have to come back here eventually though, because we have to open the box and that is... Oh, we can go to the apartment next door. You keep pretending you're not actually here. Come on. These are storches, right? For some reason, their leg is like attached to the head or something. Those wake up so often. There's nothing we can do about it. I don't have thermite. Okay. Let me let me do a sweep here. What do we have? So we have a room where I think we needed it. Did it say it needed to be unlocked on the other side or? I don't remember already. <laughs> Let's go check. Okay, they're getting, they're coming back faster. <laughs> we'll just leave the repair patches here. I think that's fine. Um. 
Save it, save it. But I'm clearly out of submachine gun rounds already, so we have to be super careful trying to get out. If we had a thermite for that storage, that would make me feel so much better. And why- why is a storage freaking- What's wrong with it? Why does it have a- What happened to your head? So I think that's that for now. On this side. Excuse me? What? Uh... The painting room is blocked off somehow. The door is blocked off by a mass of flesh. There's no way through. When did that happen? When did that happen? Somebody got back up. Unfortunate. That'll make this place a little bit less pleasant to go through, but again... Don't have that one thermite I need. I'll just use one right now. Yeah, revolver. Is it time to take out the revolver again? Photo tank. We need the developing fluid, did it say? So put it away. Flare shells. Oh, flare shells! I can kill that guy outside. Okay, let's try it. Precious, precious flare shells that I wasted earlier. A whole bunch of them. It looks like, yeah, the, the aiming needs a little bit longer or what? Because it obviously didn't go so well the last time I tried using it. Well, I guess we'll find out. The submachine gun is very quick to reload, but this one... Right, the initial... Yeah, I think we have to quite... Uh... There you go. Easy to miss with it, I guess, but... Now I feel a little bit safer. Okay, I still need to step on you. Okay. Alright. Yeah, good thing I got the repair spray from the dorm. Um, what else am I... I gotta go... I don't think we've actually looked at the commercial corridor yet. Two unopened doors and then... Yeah, the commercial corridor probably goes back down somehow. I'm guessing there's a ladder somewhere. Thank you, Flare Gun. And we will walk around with the... Six bullets with a revolver? Any more? Twelve? Okay. I mean, it could be worse. Revolver? Oh my gosh, did you see? Like the... The old shells came out just now, or whatever the gun terminology would be. <laughs> alright, are we- are we alright? Uh, why am I still yell? I'm still yellow, even though I just took a... Um, red spray. i take another one. I just want to be blue sometimes, you know? That would be nice. Have we been anywhere where we didn't pick up an item because I had full inventory? There might have been some miscellaneous items, but I don't think there's any story important items. Hopefully. Okay, so we could drop down from the meat grinder again, or we could just go down to this side. Ito's place. Oh, wait, this might... Oh, this is the back, right? They mentioned that the keypad is on the back of the room. And then that's the front. You guys just gonna chill here?
Oh, there's many. Hopefully you won't get back up quickly. Ito books. Unlocks from the other side once we get the keypad. Oh, shoot, there's nothing here. Not a big problem, but... Yeah, we killed those guys a little bit early then. Now hold up. We're not done here. So I gotta go back down the meat grinder then. I'm trying to think of any obvious stuff I missed. Still a repair spray here, just in case. I'll never get used to that. Ugh. I'll take this. Should I? No. I. It's not about taking it now, it's just that I'll forget later if I don't take it now. Which I'm pretty sure I will. Let's not stay. But that room is big enough that I feel like we can kite it. Where does this go? Oh, another upper floor. Alright. Alley. Right, we can open the commercial door corridor from here. That'd be a good one to open. Oh my god! Someone just came out of the vents again. Oh, yeah, that- I- I forgot to check out for other enemies. That's right. At least Calibris don't come back. It could be so much worse. Okay, I am uh, a little bit low on ammo. We have some. Kitesh. Upside down triangle. Upside down? I mean, I, I think of that as being upside down, but other people might not. Booyan. Hexagon. Vider Vrai Nigung. Vider Vrai Nigung. Whatever. Reunification. Reunification at any cost. Orbital Defense Cannon Battery Veneta 12. Buyan and Ketesh in our crosshairs. Artillery Divisions of the People's Army. So much propaganda posters. Sure. Don't stay too long in the storage rooms. Um, Hold off. Okay, there's like a whole other... Oh, there's more stuff here. I thought we were almost done, but... Not at all. It's nice piano music again. Thermite. It says Wong. That's um... Or Huang, or... Depends on how they write it in English. But somebody's name? Elster. What else can it be? A R S E L T? No, they're all different. But it started as Elster. We don't know it. Paridolia. Butterflies. Four. I don't know what pareidolia means. Bioresonance technology. And its limitations. Classified. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. 
Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like climaforming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Induced gravity. What is climaforming? Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now, as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. That's insane. A century? Electronic development? Like, that's one of the areas that grows the fastest. Microprocessors, uh, something something Moore's Law. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is a duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Pre-existing patterns? Do you mean... A replica was originally a normal person and then you're putting a new pattern in? Or do you mean... The replica was empty to begin with, but you put in a pattern and you change your mind and you put in a new pattern? I don't know if I want to know. Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology, controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back to where we were, under the Empire. We won the war with replicas. Technology controlled by a few gifted individuals, what does that mean? Gifted in what way? And who? Do you mean the Gestalt is gifted? Or do you mean the scientist working on this is gifted? The one doing the neural pattern transfer? Okay, we have to come back to this room. For sure. Just wondering if I want to carry these things on me right now. I'll take the Thermite. Because we can actually use that on the go. But there's a lot of people outside. 